here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. So it is when Daishenken and Xenosama opened the great door and loud roar would come out of it. Sir, millions of years have passed, but you've never known what is in that place. The only thing that is known about this abominable power is what my father told me millions of years ago. The being that exists behind that door possesses a great power, so great that he could free himself if he wanted to. He came here by his will, since his words were as follows. When the being worthy of my power is born, I will awaken, and he will be my guardian and protector. A being that does not seek me for my power. On the contrary, he will see me as his life companion. So whatever is in this place has always been able to come out when it wants to. I find that amazing. You're right, so let's go in. Let's see what happens. The moment Daishenken and Xenosama entered, the door would close. That's right, at that moment a gigantic purple Ozoru would be observed. So you are the son of the former king of everything. I respect for your father. I'm not harm you, but leave this instant. I have never bothered you because of the respect my father had for you. But now we really need your power. I beg you, please help us. Only you, the being who defeated the former king of everything and had mercy to spare his life is capable of putting an end to the approaching threat. The beast observed that the words of the subjects were sincere, decided to listen to them. Xenosama, together with Daishenken, would tell him everything that happened. However, nothing seemed to impress such beast. The only thing you need is to become more powerful. Then you will be able to defeat them. Now get out of here! No matter how much we train, we're no match for Moro's servants. Much less for Moro himself. He'll destroy everything that exists, and nothing and no one would be able to stop him. The beast would give a loud roar. Let them leave, I said. I'll only leave this place when the Chosen One is born. Xenosama and Daishenken would leave the room. Meanwhile, returning to the Room of Time, Goku and Broly had entered hundreds of wrong cracks until, at one moment to another, they tried to cross a crack and it would be complicated. At that moment, they both remembered the words of Zarma. At the moment you come out and you are not able to raise your power even more, because the seal will be responsible for this. And this seal is of negative energy, so it represents the divine energy. Goku and Broly increased their power even more, focusing it specifically on the seal. That's right, the impossible had happened. Goku and Broly were able to destroy the seal and were free. At that moment, all the beings of Universe 7 felt its power, including Beerus and Whis. Whis, is that Son Goku's power? This is impossible. Mr. Beerus, as impossible as it may seem, that is the key of Son Goku. Whis and Beerus would leave quickly to planet Earth, returning with Goku and Broly. At that moment, the Z Warriors would appear in front of both Saiyans. How'd you manage to get out of that cursed dimension? This is impressive. But we have also become very strong. At that moment, Gohan and Vegeta would release their power to the maximum. Gohan mastered 100% of his new transformation, while Vegeta would pass to Ultra Ego Phase 3, which gave off an incredible power. Meanwhile, in the Room of the Beast, a strange feeling would pass through his body. So, after millions of years, you have been born again, Master. The Beast, after millions of years, would stand up shaking the entire realm of everything with his incredible power. And that power, the chains that kept him bound, he would destroy them, and his power creating a gigantic explosion in the entire realm of everything. What happened? What was that incredible explosion? I don't know. But at that moment, the frightened guardians would stand in front of Xenosama. Great Xenosama, the room of the beast has been completely destroyed. There's no one inside. So the Chosen One's born. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Goku was fighting with all the Z-Warriors, as Goku's power could take them all on at the same time. I thought you said you'd become more powerful, but they seem much weaker than last time. Don't underestimate us, you damn worm. 
We already defeated you, and we can do it again. Goku would increase his power level a little more and hit them with a few blows that would leave them badly wounded and lying on the ground. How is it possible that you have so much power? That's none of your business, damn disgrace! At that moment, Beerus would arrive along with Whis. At that moment that Beerus arrived, Broly would unleash a power of his own. That's right, Broly was concentrating all his anger and power on Beerus. Broly, without saying a single word, would launch himself against Beerus, sending him flying hundreds of meters. That moment, Beerus would recover from the blow, throwing himself at Broly in the same way. But this time, Broly was hit without receiving any damage. That's right, Broly's power was so much that the blows of a simple destroyer god didn't even tickle him. You'd better transform if you don't want me to end your life right now. Beerus would begin to transform. Meanwhile, in the part of Universe 7 was Nukita. Since he was in charge of this entire universe at that moment, he was able to feel the power of Beerus. I'm in luck. If this time I finish with God Beerus, Morosama won't be so annoyed anymore. Nukita, with the power of his eye, would quickly change places. That's right, one of the techniques of his eye was to create portals or dimensions, achieving to arrive in a matter of seconds. Nukita would appear in front of Beerus, observing him on the verge of death and very badly wounded. Flashback five minutes earlier, Beerus had transformed, but this would not be of great help, since Broly would humiliate him without any effort, leaving him on the ground. Beerus, no matter how many times, he was thrown to the ground, he would get up again and again. I realize you're stubborn, but that will all be changed, because now I will finish you off. Broly at that moment would grant him a shrapnel of blows, being able to leave him agonizing and that he lost his transformation, Finn flashed back. At the moment, Nukita turned her head around observing two powerful warriors of which she could not feel their key, but her murderous intention and their incredible pressure. I don't know who they are, but the destroyer god must only die in my hands. Then Nukita, noticing Goku was already tapping her shoulder. You better not interfere in Burley's battle, because if you do, I'll have to end your life. Nukita would take distance quickly, since he was not able to notice the moment in which Goku had arrived next to him. Nukita would increase all his power to the maximum, giving a big hit to Goku, but Whis would be surprised to hear Nukita scream. Ah, my hand! How is it possible you have your body like this? Is it made of steel? That's right, Nukita, by concentrating a large part of his power to the, in the blow he received at Goku, his hand would have broken upon impact of this Saiyan. I don't know who you are but I can perceive a very strong negative energy inside you, so you leave me no choice but to finish you off. Goku began to walk towards this being with an incredible terror, would fly away from planet Earth. Getting as far away as he could from Universe 7, Goku would observe the sky, realizing the direction of the being. If I said I will annihilate you, I'll do it! Goku would put his hands together and begin to charge a powerful Kamehameha, throwing it at him. The incredible attack was rapidly approaching, I won't let that attack reach me! I can dodge it! But at that moment, Goku would appear in front of Nukita, and with a great blow, he would make him collide with his powerful attack. Nukita would be reduced to atoms. Meanwhile, with Moro, he was very thoughtful. When he received the information from the second commander, since the gods were planning to attack with negative energy in the same way. I don't know why I worry. If the gods are not compatible with the energy, the only thing he will do will be to die in vain. But at that precise moment, he would lose communication with one of his servants. What happened? I've lost communication with the eighth Nukita servant. Second one come closer, immediately. The second commander would appear in front of Moro. Tell me, sir, anything I could do for you? Any new mission? I want you to investigate who ended with the death of the eighth commander Nukita. The second commander, named Genshi, was a little intrigued to know that one of the commanders had fallen in battle. Genji would leave the place, go into Universe 7 where the power of Nukita had disappeared. Returning to planet Earth, Whis was very surprised because the being that he was not able to defeat, Goku defeated him in a matter of seconds. Mr. Goku, I know we had some misunderstandings, but uh, please listen to us. So sorry, but uh, both Mr. Beerus and I were manipulated by a being that even surpasses our powers. Whis, 
I have nothing to listen to you, but it really hurt me that you guys, who are considered as my family, would do this to me. Broly at that moment would throw a great energy towards the unconscious body of Beerus, however Goku would stand in front of that great attack. No, Broly! We're not the same as these traitors! You better leave this place. Without anyone noticing, the second commander was in the atmosphere of the planet, observing everything. Noticing that there were two warriors with the blood of the Saiyan God, and the other with the blood of the legendary Yamoshi. The second commander would return with Moro, informing him of everything that had happened. Moro would be very confused and scared. This can't be happening. I was in charge of locking up those two guys with the King Level Seal. I don't know what happened, but both Saiyans had an incredible power. Being able to only the first five generals to face them, but even so, we won't have an easy time. Thanks for the information. Keep me informed. Returning to Universe 7, an overwhelming power was approaching. The moment that Goku and Broly were about to leave to another universe, all the Earth would tremble because of the being that had arrived to that place. Whose power is this? He managed to feel a murderous essence, but at the same time, he managed to feel peace. That power that is perceived is extremely incredible. At that moment, in front of everyone, an Ozora would appear, which would surprise everyone. What the hell is that supposed to be? The Azora would approach Son Goku, ducking his head. You have finally awakened, Master. Or rather, you have finally been reborn. Everyone was even more surprised to know that Son Goku was the master of that beast. I know you must have thousands of questions, but with this, everything is clearer. At that moment, the body of the Incredible Beast began to become energy. Thousands of energy spheres were entering the body of Son Goku. That's right, Goku's body was filling with so much energy that it seemed it would explode. However, at that moment, a loud roar, half beast, half human, would resonate through the universes. So much so that it would be heard by the beings of the Kingdom of Everything. This power is awesome! Nothing, and no one will be able to face me! I am Kumaro, the Divine Saiyan! What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.